super bloom, it's not really a technical term. It's a, a kind of a way that we just describe a really intense blooming period. The recipe for the super bloom is really about three things. Timing, temperature, and moisture. First, wait for the, the heat and the high temperatures and dryness of the summer to sort of dissipate. So you want to fully be into the fall slash early winter. You need to get a good dump of rain. Many of the seeds that are in the soil, uh, their seed coats have germination inhibitors. So they're actually little chemicals that are telling the seed, wait, do not germinate, do not germinate, do not germinate. Once you get that big dump of rain, it helps to leach those inhibitors out of the seed coat. And then the seed is like, sweet, it's time to go. And they germinate. That germination process means that the root starts to grow and the baby leaves start to grow. And as long as there's enough precipitation throughout the winter, and then in the early spring, when it starts to warm up, the plant will bolt up a flowering stem and uh, put out a flower. At its peak, these, these big blooming events will be about two weeks long, from you know, March all the way through April or May. It's common for folks to think that deserts are, are dead areas, that there's not a lot of living organisms there. So when we see it explode with color, I think it makes it much more impactful. But we see super blooms anywhere where we see flowering plants. Grasslands, in the chaparral, along the coast here in California. The plants are really at the base of the food web. There's lots of things that eat them, that are in turn eaten by other organisms, in turn eaten by other organisms. Everybody in the community does well if the plants are doing really well. Should people go and see super blooms? Yes, you absolutely should. It's a great way to connect with nature. It's a great way to spark curiosity. But at the end of the day, these are really delicate systems. And it's very easy for us to have a big impact. One of the challenges with super blooms is everybody wants to see them. Stay on the trails as they're marked. Keep your vehicles on the road. My biggest piece of advice would be find your local super bloom. It may not be the majestic hills of Lake Elsinore, but it could be just as spectacular. And because there will be fewer people there, your presence will be less impactful.